Hey everybody, welcome back to Reach Out Reptiles. My name is Garrett Hartle, and this week I want to talk about an awesome trip that I had out to sunny Phoenix, Arizona to visit CMB Reptile Specialty Shop. By now, you guys might have realized that I'm kind of all over the place when it comes to reptiles. We travel quite a bit, and there's uh, a lot of opportunities to kind of hang out with cool reptile people and and get into the networking side and enjoying other people there. I had an opportunity to go out and visit my friends Bill and Caleb uh, Cavender who own C&B Reptiles while we were filming a podcast that Brian Cusco and I do called Searchable as Reptile. How many scoots your left? You can check it out here on YouTube if you haven't seen it yet. Because I was visiting such a cool exotic reptile shop my boy Thomas over here behind the camera told me that I had to get an episode showcasing some of the reptiles and what we were doing there. Now, I had plenty of stuff that I was doing there and quite frankly, I thought it would be more fun if I put my phone in the hands of the very capable Duran Guerrero. Guer Guerrero. Guer Gorilla Guerrero. That, that sounds about right. Yeah, that one. Sorry, Duran. Duran is actually one of our great Patreon supporters, and so he has a lot of good tips and stuff for Thomas all the time on social media. So I thought it'd be pretty fun to uh, go ahead and hand him the camera and allow him to film an episode himself. Duran was actually filming for me, I was able to sit down and kind of do a Super Dwarf 101 talk. We are a very specific, super niche type of company that specializes not just in reticulated pythons, but very specifically dwarf and super dwarf reticulated pythons. Uh, Thomas, I think we're going to probably unload the whole talk unedited up on our Patreon, right? Yes, sir. Premium access only. Commercials, commercials, commercials. But if you guys want to see the whole thing, you can jump on our Patreon. We have a lot of behind the scenes stuff like that. And maybe you'll even get to film an episode someday. Who knows? There's definitely two different kinds of people in this industry. There are the people who see money to be made with reptiles, the glory, whatever they're after. And they want to funnel as much of that towards themselves as possible. And then there's the people who get into it to create a bigger and better industry. You know, they just want everybody to enjoy that. Bill and Caleb are these kind of people. So a thing or two about CMB Reptiles if you don't already know who they are. Bill and Caleb are a father-son team that got into the industry really wanting to make a difference. One of the things that they uniquely do in their reptile shop is stock an amazing variety of top-notch captive bred animals. What's up? Let us know if we can help you out. Go check out Duran. Every time we film, they're like jumping on uh, Thomas all the time. Now, I have to admit, I might be a little bit biased because they actually do carry uh, Reach Out Reptiles, Dwarf and Super Dwarf Retics exclusively. They're just like, they're magnificent and awesome. They don't sell any other Retics, no mainlands or anything like that. One super cool thing that they've recently committed to that I think is amazing is to only sell captive bred reptiles. This is a huge deal if you don't understand kind of the pet shop industry. There are a ton of imported reptiles. In fact, a lot of reptile shops, their bread and butter is kind of going to these inventory lists of large importers, bringing in animals, hopefully trying to pick through some healthy ones to offer to their customer. And that's where they get a lot of their diversity. Sure, the ball pythons, the bearded dragons, those kinds of things, leopard geckos, are probably all gonna be captive bred at these reptile shops, but any of those specialty or obscure species are by and large imported. And this is one of the ways that Bill and Caleb actually are throwing their hat in the ring to do their part to improve the industry and kind of raise the bar is offering specialty captive bred animals from breeders across the country and using their networking prowess to be able to kind of get you that awesome captive bred experience 
right there in a shop that you can walk in and browse like you can't do at these private breeders. While they had us out for a podcast and they were joining us, you know, in that podcast with Brian Gusco and myself. How do you feel about the two people that's going to be hanging on every word that you say tonight? Um, pretty happy about it. Uh, we, this was actually part two. We did one podcast back in um, March, I believe, then the guys came out. So we're probably going to continue on that good vibe. I know the last podcast was really super cool. Enjoy the guy's company and um, excited about it. Can't wait. Next question. Sarong or Sarite? All right, baby. You know you want one, man. They also asked me if I wouldn't mind doing a talk in person that they could announce on all their social media platforms that I would be in town. This is something they do, I think it's the first Sunday of every month, is have a somebody come in and do a talk with them. Yeah, I could breed like an elephant the size of a Jack Russell Terrier. I, I have 20 of them and watch the migration to the living room, you know, once a year or whatever. I think that'd be the coolest thing in the world. So that's kind of what we're doing with these snakes. You're getting this big man, confident attitude, all the colors and different genetics that you want in whatever size fits you best. My name's uh, Justin Benjamin. Uh, one thing I found interesting that I didn't know was that you could select read the size of them. I just thought that, you know, certain islands would be certain sizes. I didn't realize that you could just select the breed the size. That was, uh, that was a surprise to me. First off, this was amazing, an amazing experience. Thank you, CNB, and thank you for Reach Out Reptiles. I have learned so much about snakes, especially today, but also the YouTube channel. My name's Kendall, by the way, um, and today I for one, the passion you guys all have when you talk about the species and just their personalities, everything about them is so admirable. So anything you guys say, I'm like, yep, I'm, I'm listening because you guys love what you do. And especially today, you could just tell, I mean, the knowledge is there, the passion is there, and I'm ready to get my first research. <laughs> Probably some of the greatest part of being there was the ability to sit down and answer individual questions. So I had a little Q&A time at the end. People were able to kind of ask me what it was that you know they wanted to know from me about dwarf and super dwarf retics, the animals there in particular, or just in general. And then we hung out for a couple of hours afterwards, just chatting with people, getting to know them, uh, answering any you know individual questions or very specific questions that they had. Um, I was even able to help somebody who was purchasing an animal kind of walk through a plan that would be you know, getting him some animals that were a best fit for him and for the animals and kind of making that pair. So that was a whole lot of fun. It's just really cool to be a part of, you know, somebody else's business that's trying to bring sort of the behind the scenes aspect and experience forward for more people to enjoy, in this case, through a reptile store. So kudos to CMB for doing that. And uh, that one looks like it might be a leather back. It still looks like leather. No, I think this is a spiky back. Spiky back. Yeah, see how spiky it is? Oh, yeah. back. Yeah, it, it's hey, uh, how's Duran doing on the video? You guys liking the video? Hit a like below or, or sh sh drop us a comment in there. See if we should let this guy stick around anymore. <laughs> Thomas, we need you back. This is some tough stuff. <laughs> Garrett is hard. I understand your pain. <laughs>